When your heart fills with blood, it's supposed to squeeze and push blood to the rest of the body. In order to push blood to the rest of the body, there's a valve in the back that closes so blood doesn't go backwards. Mitral regurgitation is when that valve isn't functioning well and there's a leak. If you have mitral regurgitation, a good portion of the blood that the left ventricle is supposed to pump to the general circulation winds up going backwards into the left atrium, which can cause shortness of breath and congestion in the lungs. Over time, it becomes worse, and the sequela of severe mitral regurgitation, unrepaired uh, mitral regurgitation, is worsening heart failure, decreasing ejection fraction, onset of new arrhythmia, fluid overload, and decreased functional capacity and mortality. The major way that this is diagnosed is when people start having symptoms, they get an ultrasound of their heart, and that ultrasound will show a significant leak. We start with what's called a surface echo, which means patient just has the echo probe placed on their chest. That's done in the doctor's office. Sometimes when we need to know more, especially in a patient who's headed towards mitroclip, we need to do the invasive transesophageal echocardiogram, which is where I come in. Patient gets sedated, and while they're sleepy, we pass a probe through their mouth into their esophagus. It's like a scope. We slide that down their esophagus till it's right behind the heart and it's less than an inch away from the vital cardiac structures that we're interested in seeing. And we get much better and much more detailed views of the heart, particularly the mitral valve leaflets, which we're interested in seeing whether they're suitable for treatment with technology like MitraClip. Transcatheter edge-to-edge -edge repair is a transcatheter or minimally invasive technique uh, that was designed to mimic a surgical technique that was uh, designed in the 1940s uh, based off something called the Alfieri stitch. Basically it is that we put either the MitraClip device, which is in its fourth iteration, or a Pascal clip across the two leaflets that are leaking of the mitral valve. The way it works is you go in through the vein in the groin, go up to the heart, and you put this clip in that grabs the leaflets of the valve and it pulls the valve closer together and it's aimed to reduce the leak. It requires a lot of meticulous and very detail-oriented planning. So I look at each function, each patient's anatomy, leaflet height, leaflet length, valve area, and then the mechanism of regurgitation. And I try to plan number of clips and I try to project the valve area after the procedure to avoid significant narrowing of the valve area after one or two clips. The results are very often instantaneous where we see a patient who goes into our operating suite with severe leakage and at the end of the procedure has mild leakage. Typically the patient is observed overnight and they go home the next day. There's no uh, recovery period necessary. Your shortness of breath should get better. You should fill up with fluid less often and you should be able to exercise and live your life more easily. Another benefit for some people is can actually reduce the number of times you get admitted to the hospital as well as potentially make you live longer. Having not only uh, physicians that are experienced but having the ancillary staff uh, that is very familiar with doing uh, these procedures is critical in ensuring uh, the best outcomes possible. We've really fine-tuned what we're able to do and offer patients.